Good day. Octave Chanute here. Welcome to Lenexa, Kansas. You might think it odd that Lenexa would celebrate and honor William Strang, the founder of Overland Park, the neighboring city to the east. But William Strang, who also founded the Strang Line Interurban Railroad, had a long association with Lenexa. He's buried in St. John Cemetery on Flum Road in Lenexa. He was a longtime member of Holy Trinity Catholic Church in Lenexa. Some historians in Overland Park think he lived in Lenexa while his home was being built in Overland Park. And when his Strang Line Interurban Railroad started in May of 1906, it ran from Lenexa to 41st and State Line. William B. Strang Jr. was born in 1857 in Syracuse, New York. His father built railroad short lines, and at the age of 15, William helped his father build those railroads. His father eventually came to work for the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad. And while William was visiting his mother in Kansas City after that horrific 1903 flood, he pictured a flood-free park-like community south of Kansas City connected by an interurban railroad where the residents of that community could commute to shopping and to jobs. He bought 600 acres near 79th and Metcalf for his small community where you could enjoy your garden and raise your chickens, yet still be close enough to the Strang Line Interurban Railroad to commute. The rail cars could seat 52 passengers, and the longest commute was less than 30 minutes. To attract buyers for his lots with the Strang Land Company, he built entertainment venues such as a dance and party hall, a theater, a baseball diamond, and even an airfield for flying exhibitions. That Strang Aviation Park was located at Santa Fe Drive and Robinson Street. It eventually grew to include a grandstand, an aviation school, and hangars. It hosted early aviators, that set altitude records and loop-de-loop -loop records, all the way up to eight loop-de-loops. The Strang line ran from 1906 to 1940. Strang would often offer free or reduced rates for special events, special events such as the American Royal Parade, or the Barnum and Bailey Circus, or even Christmas Eve services at Holy Trinity Catholic Church in Lenexa. Of course, the automobile spelled the demise of the Strang Line Railroad. And ironically, it was William Strang who was one of the very first Overland Park residents to own an automobile. Even though Strang moved to Kansas City in 1905, he continued to have business interests and to maintain an office in New York City. He and his wife, Marguerite Morrison, from Wellington, Kansas, had one son. And tragically, that little boy, William, died in a fire before he was one year old. Strang himself died in 1921, a full 39 years before his beloved Overland Park became an incorporated city in 1960. William Strang, he foresaw suburbia and then made it happen. <laughs>